All right, so this I briefly want to just talk about something really quick because I feel like this doesn't get talked about enough and I saw this article and it reminded me of the time that I saw one of these also and it was also in a 7-Eleven and this was years ago so I know that you're not going to run into one of these every day. And it's not like super common, but I believe that it's a lot more common than people realize that even if you aren't having your, you know, bank accounts actively drained or you feel like you, you know, you have like identity fraud that can be detected, your number can still be skimmed and sold in a list of numbers or whatever. Even if somebody hasn't used it for anything, it could have already been acquired and you would never know it. And things like, like this exists all the time in credit card machines, like at, at a 7-Eleven or grocery store or ATMs or like a gas pump. It could be at any kind of thing like that. So for me, the thing is, is that <clears throat> I would say that the way I know that when I saw one before was because I used to go to the 7-Eleven all the time, right? So I knew I, just from paying over years of going to the 7-Eleven exactly what the machines looked like. And one time, this guy closed the register that was, like, closer to the door that they always used as the main register and and was like, oh, yeah, here, I'm going to have you use this one, the other register. And I saw, like, this thing, this plastic thing sticking out of it, like, the, where you insert the card, and it just, like, gave me this weird feeling because I cause it was card, you know, I was already aware that this could be a thing, but I was just like, uh, I just kind of got like a weird feeling. So I was like, I'm just going to pay in cash because I had cash and I just paid cash. But it was like, after that, I was more aware that like, you know, oh, this could be places. So the whole point is that you should at least be aware that it can be somewhere, and if you could just avoid not using a machine that has one, I mean, like, why wouldn't you, I guess? So, the whole point is to just kind of share the info and educate that, like, this can be a thing. So, my best strategy would be to just know what the machines normally look like and look for something that looks abnormal and then investigate it if it's weird. There's also here, I found this thing the article that's specifically about how to spot one. So this is uh, advice or, you know, that somebody else wrote what they would say. So here's a part, how to check for the skimmer. Although skimmers can be hard to spot, it's possible to identify a skimming device by doing a vis visual and physical inspection. For the ATM or gas pump, check for alignment issues between the card reader and the panel underneath it. Skimmers are often placed on the top of the actual card reader, making it stick out at an on angle or cover arrows in a panel. Compare the card reader to others that at a neighboring ATM, just like I said, like the other ones. Compared to the other ones, what how does it look like? <clears throat> or gas pump and look for any differences. Gas pump should have a security tape or sticker over the cabinet panel. If the tape looks ripped or broken, avoid using the card reader because a thief may have tampered with it. Try looking inside the card reader to see if anything is already inserted. If there is, it may be a thin plastic circuit board that can steal card information. A physical ins inspection of the card reader and keypad can often reveal fraudulent devices. Feel around the reader and try to wiggle it to see if it can easily come out of place. This FTC has a photo example of a card skimming device on their website. All right, I'm just... All right, so this is one untampered seal tampered. Like, so it's, you know, you have to unlock, essentially unlock this with like a, you know, drop box, lock box thing. Like you would keep money in for like a church or something, like the little metal box, you know, they got to come with that round key and take that. So then if they inspected it or whatever, did maintenance, and then they put a seal, then if in order to open it, they'd have to break the seal, essentially. That's what this is saying that by this 
having being taken off and replaced that it's tampered with so this is voided so i mean this obviously could happen and it not have an active device or whatever but it's still something to look for right like here's another example of like the actual extra piece right like people that aren't paying close attention may not notice that there's like another piece or if it's like not the gas station you normally go to or not the atm you normally go to you may not notice that it's different because you've never been to that one before so you just think that like it's just different than your normal one but it's important to notice that like you know there could be something like that so that's the whole point is to, to look for it right so another thing here is they're saying like if the buttons feel like really hard to press you know that it might be having something inserted to like whatever track your button presses or whatever like your pin code or whatever you know something like that no other weird abnormal things to look for you know um yeah i just feel like that's something that uh definitely hasn't been talked about enough in my opinion so again seeing this article reminded me of when i actually saw one in person years ago and i was like surprised by it because it was 7-eleven and and i try like i actually like this is like an outro part of just to give a little more context on that for me is that like the reason why i wasn't like actively looking for something like that is i, I went to that 7-eleven for years i was in a band and we had a studio rehearsal space like just a couple blocks away so i would go there all the time like literally all the time i'd go to practice multiple almost every night of the week for a lot of time like i'd get like you know some water like tea snacks whatever whenever there's band practice i would stop there and get stuff so i knew most of the clerks and i was actually like spent like actual like long periods of time like just sitting talking like whatever shooting the shit with the people <clears throat> when when a couple guys that one guy in particular i talked to a lot and a couple other ones i got to know like decently well so this guy who was working when i noticed this camera was like some new guy that i had never seen before so that's kind of what a re the reason why i like when i saw the thing that looked weird like the extra pla plastic piece i was like i've never even seen this guy before See, now, if it was the guy that I knew, I'd be like, what's this, you know? But I never, you know what I mean? So, like, it that does make a big difference. Like, if you know the people and you trust them, you could probably just ask them about it. And then <laughs> if it's legit and they're trying to skim you, I mean, like, maybe maybe you, you don't trust those people. Maybe You know what I'm saying? Like, you might learn about some people that you trusted that maybe you shouldn't have. So, even though that's hard to face, like... You got to stay vigilant when it comes to this stuff if you don't want your information stolen. So that's why this is a discussion that needs to be had. So, yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself. See you on the next one.